Right, so now we're going to look at some probabilities. We've got some sweets and we're putting our hand randomly into the bag and taking out sweets. And if we count up the sweets that are in the bag, we have eight black, six blue, seven green, and nine red sweets. So if we add those up, we've got eight and seven, 15, 21, 30. We've got 30 sweets in total in our bag. So what's the chance of us randomly putting our hand in and getting out a black sweet? Well, there are eight black sweets in total. So the chance of us getting a black sweet is eight chances out of the number of sweets in total. So what we have to think of when we're talking about probability, number of sweets you're trying to find, possible, so of that color, divided by total sweets. And probabilities you often answer in fractions. So 8 thirtieths, could we simplify that? Well, yeah, we could simplify that to 4 fifteenths. And then we'd leave it like that often. So the chance of us getting one black sweet would be 4 chances out of 15. What about two black sweets then? Well, the first time we put our hand in, there's a chance of 8 thirtieths that we're going to get one black sweet. But now there are eight black sweets anymore. So the second time we put our hand in, there are only seven black sweets left. And there aren't 30 in the bag anymore because one of them's already in my mouth. There's only 29 black sweets left now. So we would have to see if we could simplify those very well. We, would get, we could change 8 thirtieths to 4 fifteenths. And then there's really not very much we can do to simplify that anymore. So we just have to multiply through. 4 sevens, 28. And 29 fifteenths. Please help me. That would be the same as uh, 10 lots of 29, which would be 290. Plus 5 lots of 29, which would be 145. Um, so we could just... Uh, so we'd get 28... 435ths. I'd probably put that to a decimal instead. So uh, I'd use my calculator and answer that probability as a decimal. Because you understand, then you get a, which you get for, what answer do you get then? 28 435ths? 28 435ths. 0 0.06436. Oh. So 0 0.064. Four. So approximately a 6% chance of me getting two black sweets straight after each other. There's a 6% probability of that. What about one blue? Well, the chance of me getting a blue is there are six blue sweets out of a total of 30, uh, followed by one green. Well, I've got all my green left, so there is... Followed by means and, directly after this 6 thirtieths, I also get one green sweet. There's seven chances of getting a green sweet, and there's only 29 sweets left, because I've already taken one here. Okay? So we could simplify that. 6 thirtieths is quite nice, because that simplifies to one fifth. So we don't get quite such a... So here we get seven... 145th chance of us getting that, which is 1 times 7, 7, 5 times 29, 145. As a decimal? 0 0.4, 4, uh, no, 0 0.0482. 0 0 0.48. 5. So approximately 5%. So the chance of me getting first a blue followed by a green approximately 5% chance of me getting that. <coughs> what about a green followed by a blue then? Well, the chance of me getting a green would be 7 thirtieths. Followed by the chance of me getting a blue. Well, the blue, there are six blue, but there are only 29 sweets left in the bag. And look, do you see the similarity? 6 thirtieths times 7 29ths here, 7 thirtieths by 6 twenty. Here we're going to get 6 goes into 30, 1 and 5 times. So we're going to get exactly the same number. 
We're going to get 7 times 1, which is going to be 7. And we're going to get 5 times 29, which is 145. So which order these two events happen is still going to give us the same answer. Even though the individual probabilities were different, here we had 6 thirtieths, here we had 7 thirtieths. Because we multiplied by another fraction, 7 29 compared with 6 29, we still got the same number. 6 times 7 is the same as 7 times 6. 30 times 29 is the same as 30 times 29, or 29 times 30. It's not going to make a difference which order we put it in. So these were actually quite interesting. It was a good, really good question, because there is no difference in the probability. We'll still get about 5%.